Hello there, my friends, and welcome back to the Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod, in which we're playing as a beautiful Austria-Hungary, or the United States of Austria-Hungary. So last time, we had a slight economic crash, in which, well, we're still kind of reeling from and doing agriculture subsidies currently, which we literally just left off of that. But we have a couple comments to get through, and things to do while we uh, see Mexico try to kill itself. Hmm. Mexican Junta, huh? Led by Cedillo versus Cardenas. Oh, and they actually have volunteers already. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, no, no, they're not volunteers. It's the independence of Mexico is guaranteed by the U.S. And not these Mexicans. But these Mexicans. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Actually, the generic focus for those guys is Mexico Revolutionary Women. Ooh. Plan of Agua Prieta. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, we got to get through a couple comments here first. Uh, let's see. We get some more infantry, though. Let me see. Before I address those, though, throw them on here and do that. So, first one is, I asked you guys yesterday whether or not... We should go with local concentrated industry or national dispersed industry. I left it up to you guys. Now, there's actually a lot of support for both sides. So basically, I had to tally up. Uh, uh, let's see. Tally up the support for each side, including the number of likes on each comment that supported both decisions. So, it actually came down to a very, very close vote at the time of this recording. So, basically, it was so close that I, I was almost, almost equal in terms of which one we should do. Uh, but, overall, the support has gone to local concentrated industry. Even though I kind of prefer national dispersed industry. Just because, as someone put it in one of the comments yesterday, that if we did the national dispersed industry, it could make the country more united. So that way, you know, instead of just focusing on the local industry for like each different ethnic group, we have one national industry for everyone to be a part of, which actually makes a lot of sense, at least in my mind, but that's okay. We're going to just go ahead and do local concentrated industry once we can get down to that part, so that was very interesting. Let's go ahead and grab some improved machine tools, which would be very, very good as we're making more guns. Are we losing stability? Vienna Effects of the Vienna stock market crash, multi-ethnic nation, Amelia Earhart still exists and circumnavigates the globe. We lose the political power, work for the homeless. No, uh, minus 1% is not bueno. Very, very not bueno. Sure support to the royal marriage of Wallace Simpson and Edward VIII. We saw this one yesterday. When selected, we get more authoritarian. We lose stability. Uh, does that have... That, that seems like this has major implications for the future. So if I don't choose the right thing, it could hurt us. But even if I don't do the right thing, or do the thing, it could still maybe not hurt us. I really have no idea. I'll be honest, I have no clue. <clears throat> they are part of the Commonwealth, which is falling apart. Oh, look. Edward the Eighth. Hello, Edward the Eighth. Unlimited rearmament. Steady as she goes. Home defense. Global defense. Invite Russia. Continental intervention. The King's Party. This seems almost like the base game UK or Great Britain tree. So, I don't know. I don't remember playing them too much, but it might be. I can't remember, to be honest with you, at the time of this recording. I have no idea. By the time I'm recording this, my mind is kind of wiped. But let's enjoy each other regardless. Let's see. Artillery. Yeah, that's good. It's only 37, so we got time. Land Doctrine. We're doing mobile warfare because I want to focus on tanks. We should focus on a few ships. Death Charge Throwers. Carriers would be cool and all, but... Mm, I don't know if we can really support that. That's too ahead of time. Actually, we're doing kind of pretty darn well on ships. Actually, we're doing really well on ships. If we really, really wanted to get carriers, though... Eventually... You might just make them. You know what? We got a little bit of time. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we will. Uh, agriculture subsidies. So, we'll get down here as soon as we can. But really, I'm going to beeline for careful, careful investments, as well as the end of the depression, which would be great. So, careful investments. Now that we've started to recover from the initial hits of the stock market crash, we should carefully invest our resources to keep up the pace of the recovery. So, we've got political power, and, and modify the effects of the Vienna stock market crash, which will look great. And actually, what are the effects right now? 20% consumer goods factories, minus 30% stability... 25% gone to a cap, minus 15% to growth, 30% for output for dockyards and factories, and we lost resources. But hey, at least we don't have minus 1% stability now, so that actually helps out quite a bit. 0.4. Could be better. Could be better. Could be a lot better. Woo. But it could be a lot worse, too. Hmm. I want to do this, but... Nah, we're good. Are we able to build? Yes, we are able to build right now. So, that's good. Uh, someone says, attack France. Well... Maybe eventually, you know. That'd be kind of good, you know, to attack France eventually. Ooh, we lost 5% more stability, so be it. Uh, they're Marxists, led by Torres, or Torres. We take... They're very aggressive Marxists, 
and they're going to retake Algeria. Socialist agitators will rise up in northwest Algerian coast. We must quickly move our armies to that region, otherwise Algerians will t retake the port and our conquest will be impossible. Wait, they can even go to war with Spain. Or befriend them. Then go to war with Italy. <clears throat> war with Austria, Hungary, Belgium, Luxembourg. With They're going to try to kill everyone. That's kind of cool. I got to play as France. Oh, oh a two-front attack, a two-front war. I see. Oh, and they immediately got encircled. Wow. Good job, France. Good job. Mobile warfare. Don't mind if we do. With infantry getting some more organization. A good 15. I love that. Uh, let's see. Good. And outdated equipment just includes all these ships, which we're desperately trying to push through and finish and research. Wow, France. Oh my goodness. You seriously just got both sides encircled. You lost your advantage. Oh my goodness. Ahmad? Ahmad, hello. Can I send uh, volunteers? I would love to. They must be... At oh, they're not at war. Oh, wait. They, they, did they just pop out? They must, these guys must have just popped out because France was invading there. Can I send volunteers? Oh, I can't, oh man. We're not, we're not allowed to, but the Farhat Abbas, Farhat Abbas wants us to intervene. Oh, they got a pork back, a pork, a port back. And they lost those divisions. Oh my goodness. I, I, I've got to see, how bad is France right now? They've lost 13,000, but the Algerian state has lost 16,000, so. But then again, it's Algeria versus the French commune, so, hmm. Very, very good. So we're missing infantry equipment. Uh, I'm looking at the army XP for right now. We have infantry divisions. They're 18 combat width. I'm tempted to make these 20 combat width with 10 infantry battalions. And then some di infantry divisions with 19 combat width <clears throat> that have at least this template. But in exchange for one infantry battalion becomes an artillery battalion. Because we've got to save manpower. And I really, really, really want to emphasize tanks. We're going to need more fuel. <laughs> We're going to need a lot more fuel. So let's go. Let's focus a little bit more on extraction first. And then maybe, maybe more on rubber and fuel, because it will definitely, definitely, definitely need that. But, you know, since we have 100 political power, how about we just go ahead and move to partial mobilization? Look at that. 15. It was 9. Now it's 15 plus 6. That's pretty darn good. And we got a little bit more fuel, too. Now we actually have a good amount of uh, naval XP, considering that we're Austria-Hungary. So not bad. Oh, you, okay, you just kicked him out. I wanted to help out, Mr. Abbas, but okay. Careful investments. Great, great, great. And we shall finish this off with the end of the depression. We got rid of the depression within like, what was it, six, seven, nine months? At long last, we can end the economic depression within the empire. We get 20% more stability and remove the effects of the Vienna stock market crash. And we get growing economy, more daily political power for a year, consumer goods factories, construction speed, production efficiency cap, output, and we get Peter Berman, technocrat, research speed and civilian factory construction speed. Ooh, nice. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So here we go with infantry. Infanterie plus one arty. There we go. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, let's edit, duplicate. There we go. Infantry plus one. We'll do it like that, and I'm actually going to convert you to artillery already, because I'm going to lower this because more infantry battalions means more manpower costs, which we don't have. So, and I don't mind sharing the load a little bit with. Um, artillery pieces because we do have a good amount of artillery here, so that's not bad. So I'm just gonna make, keep making a good amount of artillery. We actually have some armored cars as well. Really, light tanks will be good for now. Mm. Transcaucasia, get up to 15. Keep it on one for now. Artillery five will be good enough for now. I think that'll be a, that'd be a good thing to do. And ooh, these motor. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm thinking we'll change this though. We can technically have more... Eh, well, actually, hold on. I don't want to do that yet, just because I want to make these guys probably 40 combat width eventually, so... But we can increase that, so... It is it is what it is. <clears throat> like I said, I do want to emphasize fuel. So let's grab as much fuel as we possibly can now. Even though radar would be pretty nice, we can wait. Let's grab this one, fuel refining too, just because it's going to take so long to get it done. We might as well get it done now, so that we don't have to do it later when we're in the middle of the war and we're out of fuel and we can't trade for it, potentially. So, and the depression will be great, 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 great. Good, keep building, building, building. Emphasize this state. Uh, build that one first, because you're closer. There you go. Nice. Deck conversions, why not? It's almost 38, so I'll just grab computing machine, that'll be fine. Cool. Uh, 
Uh, but someone did... Oh, look. I saw this yesterday, but Turkestan looks so good. I mean, this is probably one of the few Turkestans that I really want to play as, because it just looks beautiful. Does it not? A big old nice purple blob in Central Asia. <sighs> I love it. Xian Xinjiang clique looks pretty good as well. Pakistan. Looking kind of thick, too. Oh, what the heck? Germany, what are you doing? Wh what? Hold on. Germany. Oh, look, oh, the French came back. Look at that. Um, Germany, no. Germany, you you better not cancel that non-aggression pack. Why'd you do that, son? How dare you? Why'd you do that? I mean, I'm sure we can hold around here-ish, but we gotta get those forts done soon. Remilitarization of Constantinople? Do they still exist? Uh, the region was demilitarized after the Ottomans were utterly defeated in the Valkyrie, and even though the Central Powers won the Valkyrie, they didn't feel like the Ottomans deserved to have their empire back, and after they just surrendered unconditionally against the Entente in 1918, do they still exist? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Actually, we're going to do this, too, so do that. Reform ourselves a little bit with our line, make our line even greater and better and better. And do Atha Oz von Strausenberg. Pretty cool. Now, so we did that. Let's go ahead and do... I want to do industrial policy. Total and exhibition of Montenegro. Ooh, public elections will not be held. Population will be nice. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I forgot. Ah. See, I said this yesterday, but I forgot about it tonight. Or whenever I'm recording this. I forgot that we could just go with this one already. I wasted 100 political power. That is my fault. But it actually, it, you know what? Maybe it's not that bad. Just because the sooner we did it, the sooner we get the benefits. So I think it's actually kind of okay that we did it. Even though this is kind of a waste of focus for us right now. But it's okay. Uh, Malta protect the Suez. For de yeah, we definitely have to do that. I'm going to first... Actually, do we need one of the following? So we need one, two, and you'll, you'll have it done. Let's go with industrial policy or industry policy and do local concentrated industry next. Industry policy. It's time we modernize our industry. We do not want to be fall behind the other major nations and get left in the dust. No, we do not. That would be very, very poor for us. Very, very bad. Respond to the remilitarization of Constantinople. It's only 10 political power. I'll get some more support. Why not? Yeah, look at that. Growing economy. Oh, yes, please. 1.33 day. Yes, 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 yes. Even more construction speed. Yes. Build. Build, build, build. I'm going to increase this by three more. Focus a lot on light tanks and close air support and planes. That's going to be so important to do. We want two on, mil on civilian factories at all times. Next up, Slovenia. That is okay with what we want for now. Because I'll be honest, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. The Greek monarchy restored. Another monarchy restored. Cool, maybe we can have kids someday together. <laughs> Just start talking about having kids. Yeah, why not? Captain of industry. Ooh, we want to build those refineries eventually. Ooh, that could be really good. Gunther, how many are we losing? Eleven. We could get a few more. A few more factory, you know. Technocrat. Oh, we could get that too. Research. I like that research speed. That is nice. That is very nice. Cap is okay. This, all this stuff was pretty generic regarding this stuff, so we can kind of wait. This is artillery. We obviously got to get Dr. Dr. Rundulik, which is awesome, which I said yesterday as well. I'd love to go to war economy, but if we have the political power. Consumer goods, I would probably prefer to have more consumer goods than just building stuff faster. Probably. So we can either do consumer goods or we can produce these faster. Even though we get good research speed. I want to do this one, this one, and that one. Even though we already have silent workhorse, which I will get rid of the silent workhorse eventually. For now, let's just grab some more consumer goods. So we got four more. One, two, three. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And do we have enough support equipment? There's infantry plus one, of course. But for infantry, do we have recon? Oh, how much support equipment do we have? We have 252, which is not very much. We'll probably just... Oh, actually, the light tanks would not be bad either. But we don't produce enough of anything to really use enough. Or to get the full benefit. So we could probably just go with regular cavalry recon detachment. Which will hurt us a little bit, but not too bad. That hurt our infantry equipment, but that's okay. Go ahead and do that. Put, throw some recon on our guys. And we'll throw some more on the infantry plus one as well. Because we're going to need that. Local garrisons. What are local garrisons like? Oh, uh, they're okay. Industry policy? Great. Oh, we can't do this yet. Local concentrated industry... Oh, do, is that a decision or something? Huh. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. Colonial industry improvements. Revitalize the empire. Because I still want to do... Oh, diplomatic effort. Oh, we have to get rid of oh, multi-ethnic nation. Because I do want to get down here eventually. Victors of the Valkyrie is not very good for us. But 
fortify the debt and land will be important. Reunite the empire. That would be so good to do. Ooh, we need to do that. We really, really need to do that. But I want to fortify the Sudeten land because that's going to get hard, hit so hard by the Germans eventually. And I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. So resource improvements. Uh, they remove this. This could help our the kingdom of Montenegro, Montenegro, Ukraine, and the Austrian East Indies. Let's go and do that one first. It's only 35 days. The stock market crash has devastated the economy of our colonies. We should do our best to rebuild their economy because if they struggle, we struggle. That'll be good to do. Yeah, is there a decision to take for that, for the industry path? Oh, here it is. Industry policy. Our government has two different approaches to handle and improve our industry. The first one is known as a natural disperse industry policy. It focuses on spreading the industry throughout the different parts of our empire. The second one is known as a local concentrated industry policy. It focuses on concentrating the industry in the most important regions, regions like Vienna, Budapest, and Prague. Which policy will we be better for our empire? Local concentrated, because that's the way we wanted it. Or some people wanted it. So, it is what it is. Keep training, keep training. Excavation 2, where well, it is 1938. Uh, we could grab this stuff. We're going to wait. Rubber, actually, right now. Oh, we're out of manpower. God dang it. Ooh, we could use that rubber right now. Ooh, 38 research speed. That's probably the most important thing for 38. So let's get the rubber processing immediately. We might be able to use that benefit immediately right now. Good lord. I hope I can raise my conscription level. Oh, I can't. I have to be... Nationalist or Marxist? No fascists here. We don't believe in that. Huh. Or we have to be at war. Oh, man. We're limited. We're limited. And also someone asked or commented, do we have a port in China? A Chinese port? I don't think so. Yeah, we have... Oh, well, actually, we have the Austrian East Indies holding Hong Kong. So, technically, no, but yes. Anywhere else, maybe? Oh, look at that. Germany still has that. And, of course, I guess no, but yes as well for Wai Hai. Cool. Colonial economy improvements. Protect the Suez. Fortress Malta. Fortify the Rock. Uh, I really don't care about any one of these, to be honest with you, too much. Um... I just want to get down here to fortify the Sudan line went as fast as possible. So, the Suez is pretty important. Malta is pretty important as well. I'm going to go with protect the Suez, though. The Suez Canal is the only other way into the Mediterranean besides the Gibraltar, meaning it is also an extremely important position to hold if we want full control of the sea. We need to make sure it has proper defenses, which is a good thing to do. Even though we are still technically democratic. So after that one, I'm going to go for revitalize empire, become authoritarian, and then do fortify the Sudan land just because we're going to need, we're going to need them faults. We really gonna need them bolts. Oh, the Socialist Republic is gone. That sucks. Hmm. Wait. Okay. Okay. So okay. now they're the Algerian Socialist Republic. What? Okay. Whatever. I mean, they're a puppet of France now. I, have, I like the Ottoman Empire. It was already there. But you know, you know what? This. The, I don't know what the devs have done, but this looks just beautiful. I'll be honest. Oh, Great Britain still owes colonies there, but this is just beautiful. Who is that? The German Empire owns Kuwait. I mean, man, if I was Arabian, I'd be I'd be so happy looking at this because this looks beautiful. I mean, it, it, I mean, it's not, if the British and the Germans weren't here, it would look even better. But oh my goodness, that looks just so good. It's an excavation one as well. I mean, how could you not love the aesthetics of a United Arabian Empire? They have the Sinai region. They even have Iraq. And the Ottomans, honestly, with them looking like this, if they took back of Anatolia and this, and all of Asia Minor, that wouldn't look bad either. But, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they've got a growing economy just like us. Good for them. Good, good, good for them. Actually, I'm tired of looking at both of those. There you go. And there you go. Cool. We got enough political power. Oh, I wanted to do that, but we can't do that. Actually, what do we have for military staff? Offense. Speed, defense, speed, wait, speed, entrenchment speed, different types of speed. Oh, I want to do that one, but we don't need to really do that. Uh, civilian, we will need to build refineries later on. Stability, though, isn't bad either. Oh, why do I have to make tough decisions? Research speed, research speed is fine, it's okay. 5% is okay, though. Hmm, economists, I'm going to go with captain of industry, because we're going to be building up roads eventually anyways, too, so... One, two, three, four, five. Good. Good, good, good. Build, 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 build. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this as well, like we did with the other group, which would be fine. But, I'm going to go ahead and convert, let's see, you guys are Suez Defense, your 18 combat width. 
protect the Suez. Great, 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 great. And revitalize the empire. Now that we've convinced the masses of the importance of a strong head of state, we can give full control of our nation to the Habsburgs. What could possibly go wrong? Computing machine? Nice. Radar? Might as well. Radio detection? Yes, please. Go ahead and convert to this. We're going to save a little bit more manpower. We don't obviously have the support equipment for it. I don't really care. Uh, it's a necessary evil, so... Mm, actually, you can get to 16. That'll be fine with me. Make a little bit more here. Make more light tanks. And we'll be doing actually pretty darn well then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That'll be good. Uh, Road-wise, we need to do that. Uh, where else? We got some oil. Ooh, not bad. I like that. Uh, aluminum, a chromium. That's going to come in handy. Southern Slovakia, huh? And we can also build up in... Oh, there goes Japan in them. Uh, well, maybe not them yet. Montenegro is a great place. It really doesn't matter. Just keep building. I wonder if I can send... I know. I don't think we're allowed to send volunteers like we saw earlier. I'd love to send volunteers to China. Fuel refining is awesome. Go and build Sudan land as well. Just a lot of these places. That'd be good. Maybe even the Ukrainian lands. We'll see. And get more fuel. Because I'd rather do this now than later. 1.33. Marco Polo Bridge Incident. Cool. Respond to the eruption of the second Je South Sino Japanese War. Ooh. Protect our Chinese ports. When decision is removed, Hong Kong and Wai Hai gets forts and naval bases. I like that. Actually, that's, that seems really cool. Slightly more war support. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Pakistan looking nice. Oh boy. I would love to send you volunteers, but why can't we? Oh, the ally was Xinjiang. Or Xinjiang. Zhang. I'm not sure how to say that. And let's go ahead and fortify the Sudan land. Since the end of the Belt Creek, Germany has been one of the few countries that can stand up to us in military strength. In case of war with our brother nation, we should defend the Sudan land as it can be attacked from all sides. Yeah. That's not good. That's not very good. Oh, yes. Give me your... Okay, well, we got 52,000 manpower, almost 53,000, and we lost it all immediately. Or, I mean, it's used for other stuff, but okay. Sure, why not? Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time, which is fine with me. What else do we need for 38? Better gun stuff. That's right. Improved infantry equipment. Let's get some more defense first, so. That'll be nice. Are we still missing just naval stuff? Yeah, we are. Oh, uh, we can't deploy because we're out of manpower. Why? Why? Why must you pain me so? Actually, we need... We need... Uh, hmm. I, I suppose we're using local garrisons for occupied territories. Please don't tell me. Oh, it is. God dang it. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we got we got to fix this. So I'm going to take off the support equipment first for the local garrisons. They don't need extra recon on here because that will not affect suppression at all. So I'm not sure why they have that, but whatever. Whatever. We'll do the best we can. Oh, wait. Oh, look at that. They're the Federal Republic of Germany now. Federal Republic. Were they always that? I thought they were always the German Empire. Spain joins the Humanité Uni. Okay. They're democratic. Victors of the Valkyrie, of course. House of Hohenzollern. Spain, you've decided to join the French Commune, huh? They're democratic. So they have the Algerian Socialist Republic as well as the Sultanate of Morocco. Now it's becoming Serbia gains independence. Those goddamn Serbs never give up. Were they a puppet of someone? Were they a puppet of me? Maybe they were. Now that looks a little bit more for mid Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Greece? Oh, crap. I'm guaranteeing you. Oh, crud. When did I tell... When did I guarantee you? What the heck? Ludwig von Eimannsberger. Well, crap. And we're... Actually, you know what? If we go to war with the Ottoman Empire and we can destroy them fast enough. What happened to Armenia? Oh no. Wait, what happened to the... No wonder they look better. What happened to Armenia? Ottomans, you've got some explaining to do, son. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to know what's happened to the Armenians, I guess. Oh no, 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 no. Hey, at least we're still building. Uh, build more factories. Especially military factories. 70% Moravia would be great to build. Ooh, and the Sudan land up there. Two. Basically two and one. Nice. Protect our Chinese ports. Oh, look at that. We use filling factories, local land for construction speed. When removed, you get even more stuff. Oh, man, that's a, that's a lot of political power. We could afford that. Let's go and do that for now. We fortify the Sudan land, just in case. Now let's go ahead and grab... 
we gotta grab this one first. I wanna do this one. Hey, 65 days. That's better than 70. In order to have an effective military, which we lack for the most part of the Valkyrie, we need to train the young into soldiers. This will enlarge our military and lead to more effectively trained soldiers, which is great, but I need to save political power up because it looks like we're gonna to go to war with the Ottoman Empire, which is okay if they don't have no one else with them. We can get down and race to Greece and help them out as much as possible, smash them, give all their lands to Greece, have another ally with us here. That could be very beneficial for us. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we've got enough planes to do the good stuff, the good deeds. I don't have enough manpower for that. I forgot. My bad. Hmm. Do you have another field marshal? Oh, uh, von Herzendorf. Conrad. Conrad. How could you do this to us, Conrad? I mean, my ships are ready to go, so within, like, two months, we'll be at probably at war with the Ottoman Empire. Uh, why? I must approve of this. They can become owner of all those areas. Demand that... They're going to keep demanding more and more territories. Threaten Bulgaria? Destroy the Arabian Revolts? We'll see what happens. Let's go and grab this one, too. We can actually get some radar. I love radar. Hey, 37 guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ukraine, do you have any spare soldiers? No. Um. Hold on. India. It's so weird to see India there in Bangladesh. And 36 at least. East Indies. Do you have any more? No. Okay. Oil processing. Nice. Hey, at least we're done with that for now. 38. Let's grab this infantry stuff. Improved infantry equipment level 1. Awesome. Oh, wait. So we got the Suez, but then the Germans got Cyprus. Interesting. Kind of interesting. Okay. The fall of Beijing. Wait, why did Greece declare war on them? Hold on, hold, no, wait, 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 hold on. Why did the Greeks go to... What? So why did you guys go to... Why? Huh? Bring an end... Um, why would you go to war? They're going to go to war with you. Just wait, your turn. Now... Okay, so we were preparing to go to war, but I guess we can't now. I guess another way to get more manpower is we could just core Montenegro, but it's not that much manpower over here. Could annex them, but mm, we'll see. 38 field hospitals. We need those definitely, definitely. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that would... Okay, well, the Greeks did land in Damascus and Beirut, so... And they kind of made an encirclement here on Anatolia. Well, actually, they, I guess the Turks are invading. Uh, this is weird. This is very weird. I'm not sure what to think about this anymore. Oh, they got cut off, so. Oh, Greeks. Oh, Greeks, Greeks, Greeks. Revolt guarantee. We could do that. Send an aggression pact. Military youth. Thank goodness. And let's go and finally, finally, finally do this. Local concentrated industry. It's clear that concentrating our industry will lead to us having a more efficient economy. We get a whole two factories. Great. God, I wanted to go to war so we could have a good time. No. Oh, we're making more lightnings. And they only require steel. That's nice. That's actually really, really nice. Increase that by one because we need more armored cars where we're going. Let's come down here. And take. Not. I'm not going to take that off yet. The next thing we got to research. Military, please. So this way we can convert things over more immediately. Why can't I send volunteers? Why? Oof. Oh, and who do we have? Hey, two battleships. Nice. Very nice. Do we need to train? And train some more as well. Cool. Oh. oh. Macedonia, huh? What's Bulgaria doing? Oh, we're gu guaranteeing their independence? Cool. Join the Balkan League. Strike the Ottoman Empire. Retake Macedonia. Cool, cool, cool. What else we got here? Oh, uh, no. Just more. Just waiting for these to get done, which is okay. Oh no, we lost effects of growing. Hey, look at the manpower! Growing economy's gone. No! Raise this back up so we get max that out as much as possible. We can improve working conditions. Oh, stability. Go and do that. That's fine. I want more stability. 75% is good and all, but when war comes, it'll only be like 70. 45%? Because you minus 30%, so. Numbers. Second Russian Civil War. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Get all these little uprisings. Ooh, better radar. Good. It is 39, so happy 39, my friends. Let's grab some more output first. We'll get some guns, some artillery, some construction speed, some good stuff like that. 
Oh, uh, the Greeks. What did you do that for, you dum dums? You dum dums. I can't guarantee their independence, huh? Oh, they're at war. That makes sense. Local concentrated industry. Let's grab general mobilization, even though this makes no sense that we need to redo this, but whatever. With the. Actually, partial mobilization, yeah. With the rising tensions around the world, it's time we make the final step in preparation for war. We need to start mobilizing our economy for war so we will not be caught off guard. Even though. Well, technically we're already there. So this is kind of a waste, but it's only 56 days. It is what it is. Hey, let's got enough manpower for now. Oh, crap. Do we not. So once this is done. Military police. Yeah, I don't think we can fight the Germans. We're looking a little too weak here. Hmm. Are we done training or. Not really. And the last time, of course, Italy did abandon us. Improved human rights. What? Human rights? I don't need rights. Popular figurehead with autocratic imperialist. Cool. Um. Okay. Okay. Military police it is. Uh, are they going to fight Bulgaria? The Balkan League. Oh, of course they got the Serbs in. Uh, this is not going to be good. If Germany wants to kill us off, they could probably do that pretty easily as well. We're in a, such a bad position. The Germans, the Italians, the Balkans. Just let me have the Ukrainian boys. And we'll be happy. Because I can request their forces, which will be good. Which will be great. How much manpower do they have? Eh, that's okay amount. They are on limited conscription, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we don't go to war with Austria, or we are Austria. Hopefully we don't go to war with the French colony anytime soon. So we'll see what happens. Flandern, Valoine. Maybe here, no, okay. Anything else around here that we should really be aware of? Uh, we might be able to lower this to export, or limited exports. We don't really need to do that yet. Oh boy. Oh, second Russian civil war. Send Russians some arms. 500 artillery pieces? We don't want to do that because... Uh, I wish I could send volunteers. Why can't I send volunteers? Alexander Kerensky, you haven't died yet, but why can't I send volunteers? Industrial concerns. Armor. Tank designers. I'm just going to go ahead and just in case. I'm going to go ahead and grab the doctor. Just because he's really good. And, I, and if we go to war at any time, I want to be ready. I want to really, really, really be ready. I still have our troops over here, and I don't really trust them being anywhere. I'm going to send them all to here. This way they're pretty close, and they can defend North Africa if they need to, so. There you go. Just something like that. Maybe Malta. Even though Malta probably isn't super important to keep. Just saying, you know. I mean, strategically, it has some strategic value, but I can't really reinforce it that well, so. It is what it is. Hey, general mobilization. Average political forms are gone. And let's reunite the empire. While we are a diverse empire, there's no reason that this should only be used as a means to drive us apart. The diversity of our nation can be our greatest strength, and it is time we show the world that it is exactly that. Actually, since we did that... Oh, Great... Oh, what? Great Britain seeks to join the Confederacy of Austria-Hungary? As the current upheavals in international politics continue to reverberate throughout the world, the British have deemed us to be the greatest chance of surviving these tumultuous times. They therefore request to be admitted into our alliance so that we may weather the coming storm together. What happened to the Commonwealth? That's right there. Wait, Canada has a maple leaf flag. You all left, created your own faction, because this guy wanted to marry an American. Uh, to help? Whoa, okay. Yeah, why not? That sounds great. Yeah, sure. Another ally? Just don't cause any wars. We'll call unit wars, but don't cause any wars. Hmm. Let's go ahead and build at least one thing of refineries here first. Uh, do it in Bohemia. That'll be good. There you go. Do that too. Nice. So we're doing actually okay. We got plenty of guns, a good amount of armored cars, we've got a good amount of artillery, and light tanks not looking bad either. So, not bad over... Oh boy, hold on. Who's this? Oh, the Serbs. Of course the Serbs would be justifying. Start the Third Balkan War. Hmm. On Bulgaria. Remove Balkan faction. Alliance with the German Empire. Well, you know what? Since I moved them around anyways, you just come up here. Blah. Actually, no, you're not. You're going to do your own thing. I'm going to convert you to this type of division first immediately. You're going to hurt our manpower and stuff. But you guys are going to come around here. See what you can do. Coast Guards, Coast Guards, Schmoes Guards, whatever. Uh, it's already none. Let's grab some better guns. That would probably be good to do. 
Yeah. And that's the case. I'm going to convert a few more of these guys to save just a little bit more manpower to this. Gain slightly more manpower. Fine with me. We've got more than enough artillery right now, right? Over 1,800 pieces. At this point, we're going to go ahead and stop making these. Cool. There you go. Now, we can't convert everyone yet, because I don't know if we have enough artillery for that. But we could try this group. You guys are all 18 combat width. We have enough. Cool. Go ahead and train. Make yourself good. And if these guys go to war, that'd be fine with me. Go ahead and train as well. Train, train, train it when you can. Respond to the eruption of the second... Oh, wait. We can set volunteers then. Okay. Finally. We can actually do something like that. I should probably read these events and descriptions a little bit more closely then. Actually, we can send our tanks and other stuff like that. Yes, please. Oh, we can send five divisions. Ooh. Uh, let's take uh, one, two, three. Throw you all right there, and let's have a good time together. I said I wanted to focus on tanks. I'm not even making a single tank division. It's four. Oh, I said four divisions. Oh, uh, I'll send one more. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Cool. Uh, we have a little bit of manpower now, so let's go ahead and do this. Am I using close air support or bombers? Close air support? Yeah, I'm using close air support, I think. So, right? I can't even remember. I'm sorry, I can't even remember right now. Yeah, we're using CAS. That's good. Boom, boom. Nice. Even though we won't be able to do much for Russia, because, well, we'll be fighting Serbia very soon. Actually, you guys have to go there. Because that's Ukraine, and the Ukraine's not in the war. That's fine. Uh, just to do the best you can. Gets not bad. 0.5 a day. 0 0.05, actually. But not bad, still. Still not bad. Keep training, keep training. You guys are <laughs> not great, but you're on good on the defense. Uh, if Germany doesn't attack me, we'll be okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to pull you out. Put you down here. You are going to... You, come on. Come over here. And you guys, unfortunately, are going to have to hold the line by yourselves, just in case Germany might attack us. Uh, just in case. Hey, the divisions have arrived. Great. Let's see what they can do. Maybe we can get some more army XP down here. If we could be so great and just do this, and do a little smashy smash. That'd be awesome. Keep building. Your supplies are not looking great down there, though. Mm. Mm -mm. Come on, just make an encirclement, guys. That's all you need. A single encirclement right here could kill off all these guys. And as soon as we get down there, it'll be time to go to war with the Serbs. Actually, I already cut them off. Looks like you might have. Cool. Nice. Ace Father promoted. Great. Reunite the Empire. Good, good. We got rid of multi ethnic Empire or Nation. 98% stability. That's awesome. Fortify the Rock. Develop Transylvania. Develop Trieste. <sighs> Diplomatic effort. Hey, get more political power. Let's do that one. Being isolated as a nation has never done it good. We need to make an effort to influence the nations around us. Let's go ahead and do this once as well, because I don't know what this does. Rook, this is my time to ask you, like every campaign, what's going to be the Austro-Hungarian Nation's Intelligence Agency? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, we're going to choose the Eagle, because we can. We're going to create the good old thing there. We're doing a pretty good job so far. Not bad. Just help support the attack for now. We got a better amount of army XP, and the Kaiser Wilhelm II has died. Oh, may he rest in peace. Oh my goodness, that is so bad. I am so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. Uh, send weapons to the Russians. They don't really need it, I think. Okay, there's an encirclement here. Cool. Beautiful. The Third Balkan War. Uh, it's always the Balkans. So do I get an option to help them out? Because I, I was just fine on them. Can I send vol I can send volunteers. They're allied. We didn't we not guarantee maybe the guarantee expired. How long would it take for us to go to war with them then? 150 days, that's quite a bit. For you guys, it would be 195 days, that's even more. You know what? Mm, we do have the Balkan initiative down here. Support Romania. We want to support Bulgaria. Support the Ottoman Empire versus Greece. Revive the Ottoman Alliance. War with Romania. War with Greece. Or war with Bulgaria. Ooh, I want to support 
Bulgaria and Greece, but it doesn't look like we can really do that? Huh. Oh man, I don't know. I don't mind supporting sending some volunteers. How many can we send? Five? Ah, five more, not bad. Cool. Looks like a perfect five. And we're gonna send someone relatively good. Edward Barger. Not Burger. Barger. And how many planes can we send them now? Ew, I get a coast. Fighter, fighter, close. Mm, I'm gonna send y'all right there. Uh, actually, send you closer here. That'd be better. There you go. And then we got another 80 planes, hopefully. Cast, not looking like it yet. If that's the case, go ahead and lower this by 20 ish. And. Boom. Cool. The same thing. See what you can do. I recommend defending as best as possibly as you possibly could. And over here, well, we're getting involved in all sorts of different affairs around Europe. So, could be better, it could be worse. Just going to go in there. You'll be fine. Hopefully, hopefully, hmm. <laughs> Doing a great job killing off these divisions. Belgorod will fall. Let's get some better artillery. Even though we should really be focusing more on tanks right now. Hey, great. Great, great, great. This looks really bad to be over here, though. Oh, my goodness. So go ahead and help out right here first, then. Let's go ahead and do this as well. Infantry plus one. You already have recon, which is good. Delay. Good hospitals to them on. We're still doing military police. Let's get some elastic defense. That'd be great. Great, 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 great. Have you guys. Make sure we move you guys when appropriate. Come down here if you can. I don't think we have an airbase down here, though. Uh, we don't own that tile yet. And the divisions have shown up in Bulgaria, so we gotta move over there next. And what are you guys up to? Uh, well, actually, they look like they're trying to break over to Bucharest, actually. That would actually not be bad to break over to, even though they're failing in Macedonia. Which is not very good. So let's see if we can help out here first. If we can break to Bucharest and cut off this part of Romania to everyone else, that could prove to be very, very good. Oh, we got involved. We're getting involved. Oh, we're actually holding the defense for now. Nice. Don't lose that. Oh, oh wow. The Ottomans are really killing off the Greeks. Nice. Oh, Greeks. Oh, Greeks. Oh, Greeks. Help them out. Force the attack. King of Romania denounces Treaty of Craiova. Like, oh, wait. They're... That was fast. Peace is returning to Russia. Okay, cool. But I think we've done enough in this episode, which tomorrow will prove that World War II will probably start. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed it. Apparently, um, one of the mod developers from this mod uh, messaged me that Austria-Hungary and a couple other nations are going to get a major update soon after this recording. So I just want to let you know that there will be another update for this mod eventually. Uh, that being said, if you liked it, consider leaving a like. Sub if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow when we continue to get involved in the Balkans and maybe go to war with somebody. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.